I don't play that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Father Max is going to one ball. One ball. And it's the 2014 Ascension Tournament Finals. Where the winner will receive a top title match of his choice in the main event of Fatal Finale 6. Here we are, folks. We have gone through this month by month, match by match. And we have seen the last two of so many participants in this gracious six annual tournament. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Why, why is Ruin out here? Marquise Ruin, former world heavyweight champion, after losing on Chaos in the opening match of Chaos, and now he's on his way out here. Why is he out here? I, I don't get it. Ruin lost the world title on Warfare Chaos, and now he's out here. He's not in the Ascension Tournament Finals. He was champion when the tournament started. I need to introduce these people to the man who is 5-0 in singles competition. The man who is in the finals of the Ascension Tournament. The man who tonight will ascend the BWA in the wrestling world. I introduce my friend, the leader of the excessive force, Ace Anderson. Now here he is, one of the finalists in this young man's career, 5-0, and oh, currently in the BWA, and in the finals of his very first Ascension Tournament. He will be facing the other next man who is also in the finals, Raphael, who has made his way since day one of year six with one thing on his mind, and that's championship goals. Many critics have said it is his time, but Ace Anderson can say otherwise right now. Young and upcoming superstar right now has aligned himself, him and Excessive Force have aligned themselves with Marquise Ruin. Ruin was world heavyweight champion thanks to these men at Eclipse and he also eclipsed the wrestling world. However, on Warfare Chaos, Michael Norcia, the new world heavyweight champion, defeated Ruin and Ruin has been beside himself ever since. And now here we are as he introduced. I understand what happened earlier. Uh, I know we're having to be on my game in the hospital or something, but she might. Who knows? Maybe he might come. Maybe he might show up. Excessive force after Raphael defeated him. Raphael was assaulted by excessive force and he took a chair to his ankle. If he shows up now, we know he's not going to be 100%. But he wasn't going to be 100% anyway because getting out of a match with the U.S. champion, Jay Leo. And now we are awaiting Raphael to come to the ring. And now, wait a minute. Raphael's music is playing, but there's no Raphael. Where is he? Where is he? Excessive force might have... Oh, 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 oh my knee. Oh. Even though he's holding the wrong leg. Oh, I can't Excessive force injured the right leg. I can't lose the ace But, now. Oh. but the, the message is still clear. Excessive force... Assaulted Raphael after a victory over the United States champion Jay Leo. Let's give it a hand for all of the competitors in this Ascension tournament. Excessive force helped. Wait a minute. Music's playing again. Ace Anderson is about to win by forfeit here. They're all sad. And there he is! The World Heavyweight Champion is helping Raphael out to the ring! Raphael is on his way to the ring. He is not going to lose by forfeit. Raphael on a wounded leg right now thanks to the excessive force who also assisted Ace Anderson. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, now, now they're just making an ass out of him. Raphael on a wounded leg. We don't know how bandaged up it is right now. He's got his boots back on. He's got his gear on. World Heavyweight Champion Norcia out here. Former World Heavyweight Champion Ruin. And also the finalist in the Ascension Tournament, Ace Anderson. With a smirk on his face, no doubt. Knowing that Raphael will not be 100%. In fact, he's left. This is the first, the first finalist, the leader of excessive force, Ace Anderson. Ace Anderson, leader of excessive force. 
with Marquise Rune at his ring side at the helm. In Spark of the BWA, Raphael! Raphael's walking on a wounded leg right now. Can he do what the impossible? Can he overcome this adversity? But more importantly, Norcia helped him out. But Norcia, he's out here. If he wins, he might come after your championship. And that's well and good. I'm all about it. But right now, after the work Excessive Force did, not only getting Ace Anderson into the finals, but assaulting Raphael at the end. And now we're joined also by Marquise Ruin. Raphael fell down and couldn't get up. He did not fall down and couldn't get up. All three minutes of the chair to his ankle. You mean like how you fell down and couldn't get up? You mean how you stole that piece of stolen property that's hanging from your shoulders right now? You know. Oh, uh, now Ace Anderson mocking, mocking. Raphael in the ring. Oh, that's just wrong. Why is he mocking the wrong leg again, though? It's like well, they don't know what they injured. Well, what can I say? Ace Anderson isn't exactly smart. I mean, look at that hairdo. Oh, he's, he's not insulting. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm not a beautician. Are we supposed to be taking insults from a man who has no hair? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I got a title. I could use it as a toupee. Well, gentlemen, right now we're looking on to see who will ascend the wrestling world. And, it's the man, Ace and now they're working on the leg, the ankle. Smartly. You put the bullseye on his ankle. Except the force put the mark on him. He's doing exactly what he's doing. Neither one of these men are wanting to this, this is a veteran move right here. He's working that all veteran move. He's a rookie. Anyone could have taken advantage of that maneuver. Are you sure about that? I've seen some rookies that don't know the left from the right, don't know an arm from a leg. You, but if you were in the ring when you assaulted the man, you should know your own handiwork. And right now he's working on that exact same ankle that he allegedly fell on. Allegedly. We saw it in the ring. There was a chair. All three members of excessive force went until the match was over. I didn't see anything. You didn't care who won the match. You were going to assault him. Do you ever get tired of hearing your own bullshit? Hearing. Hearing and bullshit. What is this you're talking about? You know what? I... I'm so in the zone right now. I can't even focus on anything you're saying. Right now. You just should be focused Anderson on Anderson working that on the leg. You might as well just hand it back to me now. <laughs> we'll have more information on the World Heavyweight title picture as the information follows. But right now, up to date, Norcia is the World Heavyweight Champion. No, he's just happy Watching to be on. holding Marcus Ruins' World Heavyweight title. Because he stole it, and Chris Ballmer is honoring the fact that he stole a title belt. Well, there's a lot of things count. being stolen here in the BWA. The Golden Rights briefcase holding the contract for one guaranteed title shot has been stolen. And we don't know who the assailant is. They all, they first thought it was DJ Carter, and DJ Carter reluctantly denied it. Was there any members of Excessive Force? Whoa. Whoa. None of the members of Excessive Force would stoop to such low levels of stealing a briefcase. I see this. Ace Anderson having the time of his life right now. Hospital. I don't understand why Michael Norcia decided to hijack an ambulance with a handicapped and crippled man an inside of him. No, because your dumbass failed to realize he didn't go to the hospital. He fucking wanted He didn't us. go to the hospital because you stopped it. You just love to see people in pain. I think you're just trolling him right now. Why would you do this? You, you're just supposed to be a good guy and you uh, le you let your friend get in the ring like this? You, you let your friend compete with a bad Ace wheel? Oh, trying to kick. The, whoa! Ace whoa. Anderson hold on, on one leg. No, he's Go got up. That's my guy. Raphael only had guy. one leg, there so you go. he couldn't win. And now going for the cover. No, Shalotli tried to hook the outside leg rather than the inside leg. There's been a lot of people saying they're doing the greater good today. Former King Mr. XNC said he's turned over a new leaf. He came out to help. DJ Carter in his match and DJ walked out on him. Well, he certainly died for his sins. But how many sins has he truly committed and can this man die for all of them? I guess we'll find out now. Later. Well, so far he said he's turned a new leaf after the ladder match at Road to Madness and now Ace Anderson just literally fighting the one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. He is literally Going after this leg the entire match. Ruin, 
Oh, uh, ruining Norcia. Wait a minute. Ruin. Wait a minute. Is Norcia walking with him? Oh, wait a minute. I'm a good guy. As he moved him away, and now Ace Anderson taking a little too much time here. Do something. And now kick to the back. Kick his back and oh, now kick to the chest as Ace Anderson working on every part of Raphael's anatomy. Two with those forearms to the head and a kick again to the chest. And now Ace Anderson kick to the face and chest again. He's already a one-legged man now. He's trying to give him a concussion as he breaks the count again. The longer this match goes, the worse Raphael's chances are. Wait a damn minute. No. No! Oh my god! He just threw him into the crowd, into the audience. Do you see that? Do you see how much the crowd hates him? They could have caught that man. They they know he has a man. catch that man of a man. And Bomber. We need a winner. Bomber is just a former referee. There must be a winner. We need a winner, man. So there's no count out. Bombers just said there is no count out. Wait a minute. They said it's a flying over. Baseball slide to Raphael's ribs. Bombers just informed the referee there will be no count out. There must be a winner. So far, that's the only rule that has changed in this match. Going for the cover. One, two. I'm pretty sure the disqualification is still on because you can have a winner that way. Ace Anderson right now working on the supremely superior size of Raphael. Now, nice. Nice dragon sleeper. Nice. Nice submission right there. And there it is. Raphael in a worse predicament he could be in right now. It may not be his legs, but that neck and that back and his shoulders are being wrenched. He has to make sure his shoulders aren't on the mat. He's got nothing left. Raphael. Ruin is watching on. The world heavyweight champion, Norcia, watching on. Ace Anderson firmly in control of Raphael. Folks, we have way more action on tonight. We also have the BWA championship match. Come on, Chris. We have Chris Craven taking on both those members, Chris and Eric Stone. And they are in no way, shape, or form partners in this match. There's still more family decisions that will take place later on tonight. And Raphael rolling out of the maneuver, able to break the hold, and now trying to work on the leg. Work on the leg of Ace Anderson. Probably getting ready to have a taste of his own medicine. You can see the look of strife on his face. Raphael's wounded. Uh, Ace Anderson punched directly to the leg. Working on the leg, the ankle was the one part the steel chair hit the most. But Ace has also worked on the leg earlier in the match. As he dropped the elbow on Raphael, as long as he can't stand up, the ground game is over for him. If Raphael can't stand, he can't win. He can't fight. Kneeling before Ace Anderson. Oh, Shawnee Wizard! Going for the cover one, two. A little bit of a rookie mistake there by Anderson, pinning Raphael so close to the ropes. Raphael's aware of him, but he kicked out instead. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the finals of the sixth annual Ascension Tournament. Ace Anderson representing and leading excessive force. You want to see something cool? Uh, are you oh, talking? Yeah, here we go. Here and I say go. he's uncool. Look at this. Centon. Centon right there. You got a little bit of it there. And now, wait a minute, Ace going again. so nice. Right again. Nice to see you twice. Two centons. Two times for you. And now Ace Anderson in firm control of this matchup right now. Wait a minute. There we go. Now Ace Anderson looking back, going to the high rent district. But his back is turned. What is he going for? I don't know what he's thinking. Alright, don't fall, don't fall. You're good. You're good. Raphael's behind him. And now he's going for the other leg. And now Raphael. Referee's warning ruin. 
Raphael's got him on the. Oh, dear God, no. And it's the snap drop. As Anderson goes from the second rope. Anderson went from the second rope to the canvas. And Raphael having all that weight to hold on his leg. What do you think you're doing? Yes, adrenaline. Why are you trying to win? Adrenaline can go, but so far, if he can get it going, maybe he can just placebo the pain away. And now he has two different voices in his head. Wait a minute. World champion. And former world champion, presumably no one contender, we don't know officially yet. Raphael, one-legged man in ass kicking contest. Ace Anderson, presumably one-legged man in ass kicking contest. Well, his legs work. Oh, wait a minute. And a chop. The chop made his mark. And another chop. And one more chop. As Raphael, his running game is taken out. Wait a minute. He's going for another power move. He has to hope his leg can support it. Can he do it without his legs? Yes, he can. And his leg once again. Trying to silence the pain. Trying to fight through the injured leg. That was taken out after his semi-final match earlier tonight. And now he's crawling over. Can he get to him? Rafael can't get to the cover. He's trying to stand up now. Ace Anderson could have been out right here. We don't know right now. and We'll never know if that would have been it. Now Rafael, wait a minute. What the hell is Ruin doing? Ruin with the venom, the, the mouth just yelling. Spilling hatred towards Raphael. Raphael and him go way back. Oh, wait a minute. He's trying to go for the leg. He's still looking for him. Back in the head. That's it. Ace. Ace in the hole. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. The ace in the hole. Ace. Ace hit him. Ace in the hole. And now he's blaming the referee. Now he's hating the ref. Rafael's going for the spirit scene, but he couldn't find Ace Anderson who met his mark. But once again, Rafael. Ace Anderson standing tall. Rafael on his back, on his side, down for the count. Oh, uh, there we go. Ace Anderson going to the high rent district. Could be ready to polish off. An Ascension Tournament victory for this young rookie here. He's up. Waiting for it. Hey! Oh! oh my God! Oh my God! Raphael rammed his shoulders. He got it. Did he get all of it? Did he get all of it? Yes, he did! Raphael has just ascended. And the look on Ruin's face. Raphael did not have to use much of his legs. All he had to do was catch him at the right opportunity and right out of his socks. Ace Anderson was just pinned. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2014 Ascension Tournament, Rafael Fatal. As this man, once again, has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that he has what it takes as the World Heavyweight Champion helps him to his feet. Raphael has won. Raphael has ascended the wrestling world. He has ascended all his critics. He's ascended all of those who have turned his back on him. Raphael, not taking a victory lap, but more of a power rest. We'll find out in the weeks to come. Will he be facing the World Heavyweight Champion or the BEWA Champion? Speaking of which, we don't even know who the champion's gonna be. Triple threat match coming up, folks. Stick around. We have more BWA stars for you. We also have the World Heavyweight Championship match. Who is gonna be the champions for Rafael to choose from? Ascension 6.